guess I do apply to this rep because I do want to get married and I'm single right now. Hey y'all, it's Taylor Monet. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Taylor Monet. I do videos on modesty, faith, and lifestyle. If you are a subscriber already, hey sis, hey bro, if you're a boy. <laughs> but anyway, I'm here again with another video. And today we're talking about myths about singles. So I'm just going to go through a list of some common myths about single people and kind of debunk some of those and just have a little discussion on them. And for me, I am single. So I kind of, I'm kind of interested to see how these myths apply to me, if they're true or not. But anyway, yeah, so I'm single. I am, I'm not looking. As a woman, I feel like a man should try to pursue me, try to find me. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. So I'm not out here looking for anyone, but I'm open to a relationship. But anyway, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So I'm not out here looking, but I am single. So I'm kind of interested to see how these kind of myths are going to coincide with my life. The first one says all singles, especially women, want to get married. I know for a fact this myth is not true. It is a lot of single people that I know who are single and are comfortable with not going into the marriage stage. For me, I want to get married. I want to start a family. I want to have my partner. I want to have that man who's right there by my side. I want that. But a lot of people don't want that. A lot of people just don't want to be married. And that is okay. Marriage isn't for everybody. Paul, in the Bible, and I'm paraphrasing, but he talks about, I will prefer for you to be like me. He was unmarried but if you do get married that's fine but if you love somebody i mean god created eve for adam i mean marriage was established within the first people on earth but anyway some people just don't want to get married and it's fine but uh i do i guess i do apply to this myth because i do want to get married and i'm single right now number two single men are irresponsible I disagree. Now, do I think that there are a lot of single men who are irresponsible? Yes, I do. <laughs> do I think all single men are irresponsible? No, I don't. I really don't. I don't believe all single men are irresponsible. Now, I do think a lot of single men are irresponsible just because they're comfortable in their singleness and they don't have anyone there to lead, to like guide them, I guess. And they kind of do their own thing. So I do think a lot of single men can be irresponsible but i don't think all single men especially ones that are older and um live on their own or have just live in their own life in a career or something like that i don't think all of them are irresponsible but i i'm pretty sure there are some men out there that are irresponsible but i would not put that on all men so and I don't think just because you're not ready for marriage makes you irresponsible. But I will say, don't be irresponsible and lead someone on like you want to marry them and you don't. Now, that's irresponsible because you've been irresponsible with someone's feelings. But all single men aren't irresponsible. Okay, the next myth. Singles are wild. No. <laughs> I don't agree with this. Especially someone who's trying to live a Christian life or whatever. I don't think... Um, y'all singles are wild i mean even with me i'm single but i'm not just i'm not out here talking to all different type of people you know what i'm saying i'm very structured in my life i'm just not here wild and out until oh i'm married now so i'm gonna settle down no i'm kind of settled now and comfortable now and then once someone comes into my life then we will we will i mean live that live that lifestyle a married lifestyle but just because i'm single now doesn't mean i'm wild and i know a lot of people who are single and they're not necessarily wild some people some people in the world have that mentality though i'm single i can just go up wild and things like that but i think that's kind of irresponsible just because you're single doesn't mean you have to be wild and just throw yourself into craziness you can be single and be structured and be living a steady life or whatever until until someone else comes along okay finding next myth finding the right person the right person will solve all your problems. No. <laughs> I feel like God, a relationship with God, is the foundation to solving all your problems. 
and to have that peace and that happiness within yourself. Being with someone else isn't going to bring that peace and happiness you should have within yourself. For me, I'm happy. I'm comfortable within myself. If I don't get married in the next 10 years, okay. But am I comfortable and happy within myself? I'm not going to get depressed off another person and I'm not happy within myself. So, I don't think finding the right person is going to solve all your problems. Now, will having the right person solve any relationship problems you've had? Most definitely. If you've been in relationships and all the relationships have been crazy, I'm sure the right person come along where you won't have to deal with those type of relationship problems anymore. But just solving all of your self problems, I don't think that a relationship that a person is going to come in and fix it. You really have to have happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment within yourself, with your relationship with God, rather than someone else coming in and you just be like, oh, I'm happy now because I'm in a relationship. Because guess what? It's going to be some ups and downs in that relationship. But finding the right person isn't going to solve all your problems. Right now, I'm good. I'm in a good state right now and I'm single. I'm not waiting for a man to come along for me to, oh, now I'm happy. Will I be happy when, I find, when a man finds me? Oh, yeah, most definitely. But having yourself together is the priority not waiting for someone to come along to solve all your life problems no and it's more attractive when you can meet someone they got their stuff together they are put together everything is put together they just waiting for someone to be like here i am not for someone to come in and try to fix you no no okay next one marriage is god's highest calling i can't I can't agree to that. And I said that because of the scripture with Paul in regards to, you know, I prefer you to be like me. If you're unmarried, God can use a single person. Just because you're married doesn't mean that God's going to call you higher into a calling. Now, is marriage a ministry? Yes, it is. Marriage is most definitely a ministry because the relationship between husband and, husband and wife is styled after Christ and the church. So even that relationship is a reflection of how Christ loves his people, the way a husband should love his wife. So most definitely marriage is a calling and marriage is a ministry within itself. Is it God's highest calling? I can't say it's God's highest calling because everyone doesn't get married. So I can't say oh, I'm not married so God isn't calling me into something when he most definitely could be, but it's not the highest calling. But once you do enter, the ministry of marriage then that calling is a calling that's put on your life and you have to operate in that calling and whatever other calling god places in your life in your life all right next myth all single adults are lonely <laughs> i said it like that because i'm sitting in this room by myself talking to y'all on youtube <laughs> but i'm not lonely though so i'm just going to read this little thing it says the loneliest people in the world are not single they are those married people whose hearts are miles away apart while they are sleeping back to back. Ooh. Now listen, once I do get married, it ain't gonna be none of that. We're gonna be equally yoked. That's the word, equally yoked. But all single people are not lonely. We have friends we can talk to, we have family we can talk to, and we are just comfortable within ourselves. I mean, most days, y'all, I be I go from I go to work, I come home, I do my school work, cause I'm in grad school. I don't be lonely. I just be I just be comfortable within myself. And when a man, when a man comes along, hey, I'm not, I'm still not gonna be lonely. You want that relationship, you want that communication. But um, not all single people though are lonely. I mean, I got friends who are single and living their best lives, and they're not tripping off no off no man. You know what I'm saying? They're not lonely. But especially for the married people, though, it says <laughs> hearts are miles apart. I don't see how you can be married. Your heart is a mile apart from someone else. Lord Jesus, touch that marriage. But no. The moral of the story, all single people are not lonely. Okay. Next myth. Singles are basically selfish. I don't agree to that. I'm the oldest of six siblings. So, I mean, I'm I, I'm not selfish towards them. I think that all single people are selfish. I feel like 
a lot of single people are single and that's when you can be the most giving for real for real i mean even right now i can go here go there be with this person be with that person give people my time probably more than i could when i get married so i don't think that single people are selfish i don't think that at all all right the next one only a large church can offer something for singles i don't agree to that um mainly because you're not always going to find your spouse at your church um my church is a very small church right now unless someone new comes to the church i don't have no options at my church and i'm okay with it because i'm not deaf i'm not putting a man finding me on specifically my church a man can find me anywhere a man can find me at the grocery store and if he's saved and sanctified and holy and fire baptized with the holy ghost <laughs> And he likes me and he wants to start talking okay but just because it doesn't we aren't limited to only finding someone in our church that's the thing the church is not the only place where you can find a spouse no it's not and if people think that i don't know and maybe i don't know it kind of puts a limit on what god can do for real because god can bless you with someone from anywhere it just doesn't have to be at church. Now, if that person comes from church, that would be awesome. If I, if a man came to my church, that's like an easy, I mean, that's so easy. But, you know, you can't just, I'm not just, just don't limit it just to church. And just because I'm, I need to be at a large church so I can find someone. I mean, no, nah, I don't think only a large church can offer something that singles. I don't. And when it comes to just doctrine, I don't think a larger church teaches better on marriage than a smaller church i think it mostly depends on who loved us teaching it so when it comes to something to offer so yeah i debunked that one not only large churches can offer something for single people all right the last myth is single adults don't understand family life highly disagree i'm an adult like I said, I'm the oldest of six siblings. I, I'm, I'm with my family all the time. And I definitely understand family life. I definitely understand the relationship between a husband and a wife. I'm seeing my parents. I definitely understand just the family dynamic. Just because I'm single doesn't mean I'm like Xing out all that knowledge from, from myself. So I, I, I gotta disagree with that one. Singles, some singles do understand family life. It's some people that are single right now, and let's let them meet somebody tomorrow. I mean, they're ready to change that relationship status. I mean, not get married immediately, but you know what I'm saying? Just get to know someone. They're ready for that, and they understand family life. So I don't think that I don't think that all single adults don't understand family life. Now there are single adults that don't understand family life. There's some people that are single. They haven't seen their parents in a year. They don't go see no family. They just live their own life. I do think it's some fam some single people that just is single, single. But a lot of us too are just single and waiting to start that family and waiting to have that family life. I want to read this note. It says Nehemiah and Paul understood family life, and so do most single adults. Nehemiah and Paul in the Bible, because those were, excuse me, people in the Bible that weren't married. Paul was not married, and Paul taught on marriage, taught on the role of a wife, taught on the role of a husband. And that's where we get our teaching from, from Paul, really, in the New Testament. But he wasn't married. So it's so single people can't understand family life, especially those who are in leadership positions, who are pastors, teachers, missionaries, or whatever it is that may be single, but are ministering to single people. I'm, it's, it's definitely single adults who understand family life. And that's a blessing. But... Anyway, those were all the nine myths about being single. And let me know what y'all think about some of these myths. Do y'all agree with some of them? Do y'all fit into some of the categories? Are y'all not even single? Y'all taken and y'all don't even care about the myths? <laughs> let me know. And let's talk about it in the comments. But thanks y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in my next video. God bless. Bye.